Hawks, are you happy to get another chance to win a game? Absolutely. Um, so happy. So happy for all the guys in the locker room. You know, the team deserved that win, and happy I was able to deliver. And credits all the guys; they fought their butts off for 60 full minutes. And the, Are you surprised that the opportunity came? I mean, so soon? It was just like three weeks ago. Uh, that's that's the way the league goes. You know, there's so many games decided by three or less points. So, what adjustment did you make after the 49 yarder that was short? Then to come right back out and just hit from just hit my ball. Um, you know that. Uh, you know, felt good on the 49, just got it, caught too much ground, so just kept my eyes on the ball, just like I did the one before, um, and fixed the mistake. When, when you get a game-winning kick, I would imagine it's a lot easier when it's shorter. I mean, how much in your mind do you go, this is a long field goal? I was uh, just locked in and ready for any opportunity, no matter the distance. What's it like when the You're not on, Joe. carries you off? You're still on. Like I can't. Uh, you know, what an awesome feeling. You know, and like I said, so happy for the guys. Um, Personally, I don't need to be carried off, I, you know, because they deserve just as much credit as I do. So I was like, put me down. And they're like, no. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's an awesome feeling. You know, happy for everyone in the stadium. To hear that stadium erupt was amazing. Greg, can you take us through kind of the, the mental uh -huh. management has to be after missing the 49 yard mm -hmm. and then coming back with the game on the line? Just knowing that the team was going to give me another chance, you know, believing in myself and, um, yeah, staying, staying, never get too high, never get too low, staying somewhere right in the middle. Does it kind of amp you up a little bit, though, to get that last kick? With no now, now it does. But during the game, I'm staying, you know, right in the middle there. Did Great. you kind of know right when you hit it that it was true? Yeah, felt, felt good. And then, uh, so I saw the initial traje trajectory, knew, saw I was going in, then the rest of, I was just covered up by Brian O'Neill, so I didn't even see it go through. <laughs> so when they recover that fumble, are you thinking, okay, if we're going to win this game, I'm probably going to have to kick the field? Yep. I, uh, Said okay, if they tie it up, game-winning field goal. You know, now it's my mindset, and uh, that just do you, you know, start stick like to it. Kicking or anything, or doing anything? I stick to my same routine. Yeah. Was this a little payback to Mike Zimmer for for sticking with you when when you lost when you missed a game winner early in the season? This is payback to everyone on the team because everyone in that locker room deserved that one. Everyone in the organization. Did Does it help coach when you have the game? Um, he, he addressed the team, um, but yeah, um, uh, you know, everyone was giving me the good jobs, and everyone in the locker room was very happy. And, Guys were ecstatic that we were able to get this win. Does it help you when you have other high stakes kicks earlier in the season to, to maybe calm some nerves in a moment like that? Um, of course, you know, but I treat every kick the same, whether it's that first, um, you know, first kick from the left hash or the second one or, you know, the game winner. Do you, do you enjoy those those last second situations where you don't really know how far the kick's going to be? There's no timeout involved by the other team and suddenly you're out there kicking yeah, it? It was the same situation on that 55, you know. Um, we were in a punt or field goal situation, so I'm like, hey, you're kicking it, get ready. You know, so that's my that's my mindset. When was the last time you had a game winner in college? Uh, Cleveland. Um, Cleveland versus the Ravens, so my rookie year. Mike Zimmer said he doesn't generally like to watch the kicks at the end. He says just make it blankety blank. What kind of reaction did you get from Zimmer afterwards? Uh, he was happy to get the win, you know, and uh, there's he was just ec ecstatic to get the win and move on. Now we got to now focus uh, shifts to Carolina. You say you, you oh, it's all the picks the same. Mm -hmm. Do you say anything in your head? Like Zimmer said, you know, he, what he's saying when, he, when the kicks are happening. What do you say? I go, go through my mental cues, you know, what I focus on like any other uh, kicker does. So, you know, that's, that's where my head's at and staying the same, sticking my routine every time. So no words? Uh, like physically speaking to myself? In, no, not, not really. In your at all. head? Yeah. No.